Wednesday, everybody. Now let's get the ball rolling, my friends, with iPad for all computing. Hey guys, first of all, I want to welcome you to our Wednesday session for today. So good to have you. Thank you so much for coming. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. I know we are here, praise God, and we are just so thrilled to have you with us. I um, want to remind you that if you are, in fact, listening to this on YouTube, we need you to do three things for us. We need you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Now, don't forget what that means. That means leave a like on this video, subscribe to our channel if you've not already had a chance to do so, and... Don't forget to smash that notification bell because that's how you'll be kept in the loop every time we post something new here on the TTJ YouTube channel. Well, guys, like I said, it is Wednesday, and you know what that means? That means it's the day for... TTJ Extras. But we're also continuing in our App Bonanza. So it's going to be a great day here in our iPad for All computing class. And we are actually going to begin with a TTJ Extra. That's what this sound means. Today, we are going to talk about FaceTime. With FaceTime on your iPad, it is possible to communicate easily with family, friends, co-workers, and more using Wi-Fi or a cellular connection. FaceTime does not count against any minutes, but will use data if you use it over a cellular connection. FaceTime offers crystal clear audio and video you can make FaceTime calls to anyone with an Apple device. And now, you can even generate a link so that non-Apple users, such as users of Android devices, for example, can also join in the FaceTime calls. FaceTime groups of people directly from a messages conversation with Siri and more. And of course, call individuals using FaceTime video or simply FaceTime audio as a better alternative to a traditional phone call. While on a FaceTime call, add effects. Flip to the back camera. Add emojis and even emojis and memojis on the appropriate devices. If your device does not support Animoji and Memoji, you can still use Memoji stickers and Animoji stickers you've created or used on other devices. Use any of your iMessage apps to send stickers while on a FaceTime call. Share your favorite music, movies, TV shows, apps, and even share your screen while on FaceTime. All right, my friends. FaceTime is powerful, it's awesome, and we're really going to love it, okay? There are some great things that we can do with FaceTime. We can adjust our, um, with the iPad with FaceTime, we can use Center Stage. Now, Center Stage 
if we're doing a video, FaceTime call is fantastic because what it does is it keeps you and anyone with you in focus even if you move around a little bit. Now, obviously, you can't leave the room, but, you know, within reason, if you move a little bit, you don't have to be looking directly at the camera anymore. It kind of tracks you as you move a little. And every iPad now in the 20... Well, 2020... what All the current ones that are available now in 2022 have center stage. It's on by default, but you can customize it in the control center. Also in the control center, you can customize audio modes, and those will allow you to... Um, for example, switch to voice isolation so that you cut out all the background noise or wide spectrum audio so that you can really zero in on the background noise. Now, what we're about to do is we're about to proceed with showing you how to make a FaceTime call. There are several ways to make a FaceTime call or a FaceTime audio call. Of course, one of them is to actually use the FaceTime app. I'm going to show you that, but I'm not actually going to do it that way. I'll, I'll probably do it with Siri. Of course, you can't imagine this, I know, but I actually happen to have an iPad right here, believe it or not. Batteries, <laughs> widget, stack. All right, so we're going to... Uh... Home, weather, widget, stack. Yes, there's the weather. Okay, we're going to open uh, FaceTime. Calendar, FaceTime, 11 missed FaceTime calls. Oh, Double tap to open. A badge, right, guys? We remember those. I have a badge count. I got 11 missed FaceTime calls, apparently. Let's open the app. FaceTime edit button. There's an edit button there where we can go through and multi-select, as we've talked about before, to delete the existing uh, calls that we have. But let's swipe to the right. FaceTime heading. There's our title. We know all about this now. This is one big full screen app. No sides to it or anything. Create link button. New FaceTime button. All right, so you can create a link or you can start a new FaceTime call. And if you do start a new FaceTime call, it's going to be the same kind of interface we dealt with in messages and mail where you can add contacts or you can type the first few letters of the person's name whom you wish, wish to FaceTime with. That's saying that three times fast. Now, if you... Um, if you keep swiping, though, you will see your history of all the FaceTime calls you've made or received. Upcoming heading. And upcoming ones are for your links. I happen to have... Kyler GarageBand training from calendar FaceTime. See, so I, I see that that's upcoming, um, but... Jessalyn GarageBand yesterday heading. Now it shows me the ones I've already made or received. Edward Volbrecht plus one, nine, two, not Kyler Gold, Jeffrey Cap, Jessica... Okay. All these names, all people that if I want to initiate another call with them right now, I could simply double tap this and it would use the same mode, either video or audio only, whichever you have done. Um, the next way I could do it is from a messages conversation. And I'm going to demonstrate that with a group FaceTime in a little bit. The third way is from the contacts app. So let's go there. Sally, now, if we go to contacts home, and I face, open it up for you, camera, remote, note, vo, con, maps, Oops. contacts. All right, contacts, groups. Let's select a name. Apple Care. All right, that one doesn't have FaceTime. Let me try to find somebody very, very quickly who does. Rose and uh, what we'll Becker. do is we'll uh, Ro show you how we would indeed make a call with them, but Ro I'm not actually Jane going Clay. to. Um, W heading edit. Yeah, the message. W's. The, the W's Carol will. Carol I know I have some people Denise here that I want to use. So let's uh, Michael let's find somebody. Michael here's here's Michael one that Michael I can Whistle. use. Okay, I've double tapped on a name Selected. of a relative. We're not actually gonna call this person because um, eh, she's probably not awake at this time. But if you look at the right-hand side of the iPad, you know the Contacts app. We've explored this before. We've selected a contact on the left. We've got the results on the right. If you start swiping to the right, pay FaceTime. There's a FaceTime button. FaceTime video call button. FaceTime audio call button. See, so all I got to do is choose either one of those two, and you can start a video, which of course has audio with it, but also your FaceTime audio is, is going to be audio only. So I'm going to demonstrate now the final way, which is I'm going to actually make a FaceTime call, but we're going to do audio only. I'm going to make a FaceTime audio call uh, with a great friend of mine who also happens to be a new member of the TTJ design team, Lexi. Let me do a FaceTime audio call with her right now with Siri. FaceTime Audio Lexi. Making a FaceTime audio call to Alexis Williams. There we go, guys. iPhone. iPhone. Oops, I have to take my earpods, earpods out. 
selected. Megan Wizzle. Hello. Hello there. How are you? I'm good. Awesome. Awesome. So you're being uh, recorded right now for about probably, uh, I don't know, 85, 100 students, something like that, plus anybody who might listen on YouTube. Have you ever been in a YouTube video before? Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I had to think about that for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Well, this one won't have any video with it. It's just going to be, uh, just going to be audio, but, um, I'm, cool. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show everybody the controls here real quick and, uh, then we'll be, uh, back with you in a second. Uh, so folks, the, if, if I, what I need to do, because this is not a full screen interface since it's FaceTime audio. So if I touch random parts of my screen right now, Lexi's not going to hear this, but you will hear voiceover and Facebook, Megan McBirthday, email. see, I'm still, I happen to still be in my contacts app. I can get out of that even with the home button and we're TV, podcast, books. We're just on the home screen. But if I touch the top of the iPad, weather, widget, FaceTime. Well, what I'm going to get, Alexis and Alexis. what I need to do, the easiest way to really be sure you get there is that four-finger single tap near the top. If you can see it, of course, you can see the controls on the top. And it has the name of the person I'm Alexis FaceTiming, Alexis. and then FaceTime audio. tells me that it's audio. Leave call button. I can leave the call. Open messages button. Open messages. Selected audio route button. And that's going to let me choose what I'm listening through. Right now, it's the iPad speakers. I could change that to one of my home pods or something. Mute. Off button. I can mute my own voice. Camera off button. I could turn the camera on. Share content button. And Weather. I could share content, and that's it. We'll look at sharing content in our next segment with um the with button. the group uh, FaceTime. But you now have an idea of the controls. I also can go into the app switcher. Double click the home button. App mail and YouTube doc messages. I should messages. be able FaceTime active. Yep. Contact FaceTime active. So I can go in there and FaceTime audio call with Alexis. That's active. the one I want. It's the farthest one to the right. Okay, and it says FaceTime audio call with. And if I double tap now, Alexis, what I have FaceTime mute keypad is dim. a bigger screen uh, of controls. Mute button keypad dimmed selected audio button add call button FaceTime video button. So we can add another person. Messages we have button. End call button. All these different, it End looks call. different because we've brought it up to full screen. If I go home, now I'm back to just Settings. the partial screen weather. with the, um, Next the, uh, the home screen. One. And actually, One. I don't even Next. see now 60, 60, my, uh, call controls progress. up there, button. but at the very status top item. on the status bar, Wednesday, March th call in progress button. there's a status call in item. progress button. Double. Alexis and if we double tap that, it brings up the small controls again. So that's a bit of an overview. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, how's your night going? Pretty good. That, that's awesome. That's awesome. Any, uh, any, anything you'd like to say to these folks who are listening in right now? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Well, I think they got the general, uh, the gist of how it works, uh, and that's what really counts. So you know we're in we're in good shape there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I actually do have one thing, though. Okay. Um, it's always nice to like have someone on FaceTime when you're bored and just doing like other things just to have company. So that's always fun. Yes, that's very true. Yeah, it's a good way to, you know, to just be sort of having other people with you, even if they're not physically there. And um, wh have you done some of the other really cool things with FaceTime, like sending the um, emojis over FaceTime or like doing uh, the, the new share play with audio and video and stuff like that? Okay, well, that's cool. Yeah, there, there's some really cool new features that uh, that are really fun because you can end up like watching movies together and, and those sorts of things too. Ooh. Yeah, yep. Cool. Yeah, it really is. I have to try that out then. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. You're giving 
any ideas here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, glad we got to talk for a couple minutes. Thanks for joining our uh, our little FaceTime in our class today, and uh, I guess uh, I guess that's everything. You have a, a good night. All righty. You too. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Alexis Williams. Now what we can do, guys. Two-finger double tap. We could have done the end call button. We could do... Uh, anything we wanted to do there, we could uh, use the, uh, the end call button, which you saw before, and which, of course, is uh, is always available. So, I just did the magic tap. Uh, the two-finger... Sorry, my iPad there. I just did the two-finger double tap, and it was just fine to end the call. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a group FaceTime call. We're going to show you some of those options I mentioned in the control center, and we're even going to demonstrate how to play a song so that everyone in the group FaceTime call can hear it. So I want to start our group FaceTime, and for that I've summoned, drafted, asked, whatever you want to call it, uh, the members of the TTJ instructor team here at um, looks like trainer Rita and trainer Sarah can join us, so let's kick it off, guys. Group FaceTime. Let's find out what it's like to make a group FaceTime call. Now, as I've already stated, we can do this in several different ways. I'm going to do it from an existing group conversation that I already have in messages. I've created, well, we created this group a long time ago with our TTJ instructor team. I'm going to touch the right side of the iPad and we're going to give them a call. Main instructor chat button. All right, you heard that. Main instructor chat button. And to the right. FaceTime button. There's actually a FaceTime button there as well. Uh, I'm just going to uh, use the uh, the FaceTime button. That'll be easiest. FaceTime audio button. FaceTime video button. So we can do either or. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and choose FaceTime audio because um, <laughs> that, that works just as well. But you certainly can do video if you prefer to do that. There's some additional options. Um, and, and maybe we'll show you those too. So uh, let's go ahead and start with audio. FaceTime audio button. Mess messages. I'll well, touch the top right of the iPad. Messages. Rita Howells. You can see there's the message there. Now, if you touch the top left. Messages. Heading. Edit. Bu edit. Bu compose. Search. Dictate. Dim. So you got the, all that, but it's conversation. Di di dictate button is dimmed because we cellular two. Well, hi, hey, how you doing? Good. How are you doing? Oh, doing good. Doing real good. <clears throat> All right, just showing everybody how to make a group FaceTime. So we got trainer Sarah with us, Return. and we're uh, Use the rotor to access we're going to look at the uh, the status bar here, guys. Friday, March two, th two, fr cellular home tap. Do not disturb. It ninety percent messages. Multi tap messages. There's Rita. How you doing? Hi, Rita. Hi. Hey there. <laughs> good, good. All right. Well, we got our we got our group, at least some of our group here. And <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys having a good day? Yeah. Good, good. It, it's beautiful where you are, Rita. It's raining here. It's beautiful here. Sunny. It's a little cool, but sunny and beautiful. And I, I learned how to make... Apple scones today. I've never made scones before. I've eaten them, and but I learned how to make them today. And so I'm. Uh, they're wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Well, that's awesome. That that yeah, that's great. All right. Well, that's terrific. Well, you might have to share that recipe with all the students who just heard that now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy to make, right? Scones. 
Yes, it yeah. really is. And I've got these measuring cups uh, that I bought at Kohl's department store, but they have they have Braille on them. Um, they they sold them right there at the store. Uh, oh wow! Thrilled That's to cool. find measuring cups that have Braille, and so it's just only got about five ingredients, really, and it's all mixed. No mixer, you mix by hand or with a spoon. Uh, and so I think it's a really good recipe, especially for someone learning to use cooking skills if they can't see. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Wow. And it's got butter, butter, and butter, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, it would have to to be a good scone. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, just do some, some demos here. Leave call button. If you, wh what I'm doing now, guys, I touch the top right of my iPad and the other, uh, the other people in the call cannot hear voiceover, uh, but you will on the recording. And what we have... Main instructor chat, two people active button. Now, when I... Double tap to show details. All right, we may do that. We may double tap to show the details, but... Main instructor chat. I want to swipe to the right and show you. Leave call button. There's our leave call button if we need to uh, end the call. And, and when we end the call, we're not really ending it for everybody. Uh, Rita and Sarah could continue to chat if they wanted to, and I could come back in the same way we got in a few minutes ago. I could just join the call in that same way. Um, Open messages button. There's the button to go to messages. Selected audio route button. Okay, that button allows us to decide whether we want to hear the audio through the iPad speaker or through other devices that we may have if we're wearing AirPods, if we're in the car with Bluetooth, or if we have... Home pods or other uh, airplay enabled speakers set up around our home. We can hit that button to change the playback destination. Mute off button. All right, there's our mute button. So if I mute right now, I, whoops, I, sorry, I, that was my I, fault. If I mute right now, Sarah Potok, leave call open selected on mute off mute on. Can you hear me, guys? We're hearing nothing. Guys, you can't. Okay. Mute off. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay, perfect. Okay, so that's mute. And then the camera off button. The, cam the, the, off. the camera is off right now because we did a FaceTime audio call. We'll turn that on in a moment to show you some of those controls. Share content button. And there's share content. That's going to allow us to share our screen with Sarah and Rita and anything that we display on our screen. If we're watching a video, if we're trying to show them an app or something like that, we just double tap that share content button. Share content and button. that is it. Now I'm going to go back and turn the camera on because that's going to give us a couple more controls to show you. Camera off button. Microphone on. Leave call. Camera off. Camera. Okay. So you heard it kind of redraw the screen because things have changed now. Space. What we have. Continue. But about camera and privacy. Center stage automatically adjusts the front-facing camera to keep everyone in the frame during video calls. And that's great. Center stage is such a cool feature. It does exactly what VoiceOver just told you. It adjusts to keep everybody in the in the frame, uh, even if you move around. So we're just going to hit continue. About con change in control center button. We're not going to do that. Continue button. Okay. Messages. Message. Text field. Leave call. Open messages. Selected. Audio route. Mute. Off. Camera. On. Share content. Share. Ca we can see that the call. camera is Open on. Messages. Messages. And what I'm actually going to do Return. is get out of the messages app the because I don't need to be in it. And the Books. the controls, we're on the home screen. The controls are still at the top. Calendar. And Leave call. Button. Open messages. Button. Now, selected audio route button notification got a calendar, calendar event alert there. Drag. Got a busy day dismiss. today. Let's dismiss that. Calendar. Okay, Widget. what we want to do is we want to bring up the full screen FaceTime interface now. And in order to do that, Widget. what we're going to do is we're going to From double click to the switch. home button or we're going to do our uh, app switcher gesture, which is that swipe up to from the bottom of the screen to the third sound, the third like blip sound, and we're going to get the options. Doc, messages, Let's see. Mess Safari, messages, main and FaceTime video call with Clifton and four others active. That's what we want. Doc, you heard it say video call with Clifton double tap. Active. What's it going to say? Double tap and hold to perform move. By oh, hold and okay. We're not, we're just going to double tap it. FaceTime. Grid. 
button. Now what we have is the full screen FaceTime video interface. And, and if, if anyone could see, they could probably see me right now because I'm sort of looking at the camera. We, ha we have this button, Grid button that allows us to change the, the tiles for each participant in the call. I think you can have up to 32 or 64 now in a group FaceTime. So you can, you can display them as a grid. FaceTime video call. Controls shown. Okay, the controls are shown. Tap to high call controls. So we can... A screenshot of a yellow circle with black text on a black background. Okay, so we can button. double tap to hide the call controls. Sarah Potok, button. A screenshot of a yellow circle with black text. Now that's one of our participants. That's Sarah. Explore image. Activate. Rita Howells, button. There's another one. Main instructor chat. Two people active, button. Okay. Double tap to show details. And we could do that in a little. Leave call. But me. Button. Double tap to maximize your video. So you can maximize your own video. Cap M. Open messages. Selected. Audio route. Mute. Off. Camera. On. But share content. Effects. Button. Now we have... Matt, did you want to... Oh, that's up to you guys. It, I, I can I can demo just fine without it, but it's up to you. If you want to put it on, it, that's totally your call. Okay. Yep. All right, so this button, effects button allows us to put some effects in our video. Flip to back camera button. That's an important button, flip to back camera. If we want to show everybody something that's going on in the room without having to turn our iPad, we can double tap that to quickly flip to the back camera and then go back to the front camera whenever we choose to. It will just say flip to front camera. Flip to back camera. And that's it. So if we wanted to do some effects here. Effects button. FaceTime video call. Controls hidden. Me. Full. Minimize video. Selected. Effects button. Selected. Center stage button. All right. Center stage is on. Flip to back camera. Apps. Filters button. Text button. So shapes button listen to all those choices text shapes stickers button. stickers emoji stickers emoji button. stickers garage and heart so you know button. me full screen we button. could do any of that that we wanted by just double tapping on those buttons face uh the other thing i'm going to show you real quickly is the control center uh because it has some additional options that are not normally in control center control center okay what we me, what we will have notification Oh, I need to get rid of this notification dismiss. first. Okay. Cellular, two of four bars, signal. Okay, now we're good. Description available. Now, SP. here's our... Me, full screen, button, me, FaceTime video call, FaceTime, me, minimize video, selected, effects, selected, center, apps, filters, button, FaceTime video call, apps, hands, new, button, Wikipedia stickers. Okay, those are button. still... Those are still our, uh, our apps. New button. And our effects, and I, I got a, a, a notification while that was happening, which is what you heard there. Uh, okay. All right. So. Camera status. FaceTime selected. FaceTime button. Video effects. Center stage. Selected. FaceTime button. Mic mode. Standard. Airplane mode. Okay. Standard. If we double tap that, so you heard center stage, which we could turn that off if we didn't want it. Not sure why you wouldn't, but maybe there are some situations where that's not what you want. And then you heard mic mode, and it said standard. If we double tap that, we have three choices. We have standard, we have voice isolation, and we have wide spectrum. Standard is just what we're hearing right now, and it's fine for this situation. But if I had a lot of background noise that I didn't want people to hear... I could choose voice isolation and it would really eliminate all of that background noise and just make my voice as clear as it possibly could. And it's amazing how well it really works. It, it, you would be amazed. I mean, it, it honestly does work and better than you would ever expect. And then wide spectrum does the opposite. Wide spectrum really zeroes in on everything going on around you so that if maybe, for example, you wanted someone to hear uh, the sounds around you outside or you you know playing the piano and want somebody to hear a song or you know whatever the case may be you could choose wide spectrum again this is all in the control center and it comes to the left of the normal controls if i swipe right airplane mode cellular wi see now we're on the normal uh, you know airplane mode wife all those things but we had those controls to the left cellular airplane mode standard 
Mic mode selected. FaceTime center stage video effects. Okay. All right. So we're going to uh, press the home button to get out of that. And the last thing. FaceTime video call. Control. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is demonstrate uh, share play. Now I can only do this for a moment, uh, guys, because we don't want to uh, infringe upon any copyrights here. But I do want to demonstrate it, and we can we can use share content in the. FaceTime window. I already explained that to you. That allows you to share your screen. But we also have apps that directly support share play. So, for example, if I go into the music app, Doc, files, mail, music, Do and music. Well, maybe I can pick something royalty free, and then it won't matter if I uh, play it for a little while. Let's do that. Um, so, we're going to go to search here. Selected. Search. Search. Heading. We have, uh... Artists, songs, lyrics, and more. Insertion the edit field, so I'm just gonna type royalty-free. Oh, and that way we don't have to worry about what we play. Search. Space. F-R-E-E. Okay. See what came up here. Search result. Royalty-free music. Sound effects. Royalty. Top results. Search. The royalty-free music company. Artist. Button. Did we get some songs here? Select. Okay, here's mini player album artwork. Not previous track. Play, but next track. Okay. The royalty free music company in progress. Loading. All right, it's uh, trying to load that one. Verta search. I think we got it. There's okay. We got summer songs. Button Iron Man one royalty free music volume seventy seven middle dot two thousand thirteen. All right, no idea. Christmas trees one. No idea what these songs are, but they're royalty-free. So we're just going to double tap on this song called Iron Man 1, and we're going to see what happens while we're on this call. You guys are still with us, right? Yes. Okay. I will double tap on this song. Iron Man alert. Share play music content. And it's asking me share play music content. Share play lets you experience content with other people on FaceTime. Okay. Share play button. Start only for me button. So I can choose to share play it or start it only for me. I'm going to say share play. Share play. Iron Man 1, royalty free music, volume 77, middle dot 2013 button. Christmas trees 1. Can you guys hear that? No. No. Okay. We are hearing that it said that you initiated share play in Hong Kong song. Okay. Christmas trees now play. Interesting. Iron Man now play. Alert. How do you want to share play this song? How do I want to share play? Play now. Play now. Play next. Play next. Play last. Play last. Let's play now. Music. See Christmas if it works this time. On. All right. How about now, guys? No. Okay, that's weird. I probably, I remember there being a, a another issue where Hong Kong one. Let's try another Hong song. Alert. I think now play now button. we might have to restart. I've seen that happen before. Do we need to be on the share? It As shouldn't. Well? I don't think there's. You didn't get a message asking you to join it, did you? No, no. Matthew Grayson Walters is just sharing, uh, and then. Um, and then that's it, right? Two fifty-four. Well, oh. It says join share play. Oh, you might have to hit that then. Okay. So here we go. Okay. okay. All right. Now it stopped. Pl oh, wait. Can you hear that? Yes. And did it? And it said, "Ask me to confirm." But yes. Now I'm hearing it. Um, that was like a Christmas. Yep, but it says try it free, so I guess I have to do that, right? Oh, because you're not an Apple Music subscriber. Ah, that's true. Okay, so Rita's in the club here, but I've been outed. You've been out, yes. Yeah, so oh my, Rita, you can hear that, right? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> I'm dancing right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, we can see that, Rita. It looks, it looks great. Oh, no, 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 Rita, don't do that. I can't show that on video. No. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to do it for our... Winter Wonderland by main instructor Ted. 
He is, and there you go, my friends. That's group FaceTime. Now, you know, uh, just to recap how they had to join, they, they were given an option to join the share play, and then they could hear the music exactly the same time. Absolutely no latency. It is such a beautiful way to share music, TV shows, movies, even some third-party apps like Disney Plus, for example, support it. Now, Sarah, unfortunately, was not able to participate in the share play experience because she's not a subscriber to Apple Music. You have to make sure that your participants are able that they are subscribed rather to the whatever service it is that you are attempting to share otherwise you won't have uh success with sharing uh those people that are not subscribed will not hear what it is that you uh, would like to share so that's a, a very important thing to keep in mind of course and we do appreciate uh you know rita and and sarah and of course, Lexi joining us for our various FaceTime demos. And give him another round of applause. And that's it. It's time to switch gears completely, guys. We are about to discuss the Apple Photos app. One of our favorite things to do with our iPads is to look at photographs. And even if we cannot see and we are full-time voiceover users, we can still get the benefits of photos and videos. If you use iCloud, all of your photos will automatically be available across all of your devices. You can take a photo, on your iPhone and it will show up on your iPad and vice versa. Next week, we will discuss the camera app. But the camera is not the only way to get photographs onto your iPad. As we mentioned, they will sync with iCloud. In addition to that, you can connect an SD card reader, a camera, or even an appropriate drive and bring photos directly into the Photos app. Edit, organize, view, and work with your photos and videos. Create powerful slideshows complete with music, transition effects, and more. And share your photos with everyone you love. All right, guys, lots and lots to cover here, but we're going to take a look at the Photos app, look at our photographs, and uh, as you know, as is common, I've got an iPad. 2.45 a.m. Messages. All right. All right, my friends. Dictate. I will open up the Photos app. Clock. Cap. Weather. Face. Hot. Weather. Photo. Photos. Photos. Date range. All photos. Adjustable. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. We've landed on something called date range, but I'm not going to explore that yet. I'd like to tell you about how this app is laid out. This app has a, uh, a sidebar. The icon's going along up and down the left-hand side of the screen, right? And we can show or hide that at the top left. Photo. J photo. Uh, but I gotta, photo. I gotta do a four-finger single tap near the top because photo, I, I happen, uh, photo, I think, wait a minute, wait a minute, guys, I might be, photo, I might be lying to you, let me see here, photo, January, I might be photo, lying to you, because you know what, there's so, here's the thing, there is absolutely so many photos, I got, I got a lot of photos here in my, uh, in my photo library, Photo shows past. Okay, all right, it is up there. 
Wait, what we can do? a.m. Status bar item. Page one. Page one of one hundred seventy-three. See, I had a lot of pages, so I did a. a uh, I touched. Uh, I touched the status bar, and then what I did was I um, double tapped the status bar, and what that does, if you recall, that scrolls you to the top. Top of what? You say, well, top of what? Well, it takes you to the top of uh, any very long document um, or any very long web page or, in this case, a very long list of photos. <laughs> so to the right now, well, we got to touch the top of uh, show sidebar button. There you have it. There you have it. So what do we get if we show the sidebar? Logo other, logo of edit button, hide sidebar button. All right. Hide edit button. We get an edit button. We can edit what's on it. Photos, heading, selected, library button. That's what we're viewing right now, the library. For you, button, people, button, places, button, favorites, button, recents, button, search, button, utilities, button, imports, button, recently deleted, button, media types, button, expanded, and double tap to collapse this, actions available. The sidebar and it even says actions available. Collapse content activate default. So the sidebar is, uh, you know, uh, it's got a lot of stuff you heard there, and and even more because media types is on the sidebar and it's expanded. So what's underneath that? Videos button, selfies button, live photos button, portrait button, panoramas button, time lapse button, slow mo button. Burst button, screenshots but screen recordings but animated button, shared albums button, expanded. All right. Double tap to collapse. Swipe up or down to select a custom action, then double tap to activate. All right. Let me explain a few of those. You know that your camera, and as I said, we will take a look at the camera app uh, next week probably. But you might already know from your iPhones that the camera has numerous different camera modes. The basic photo and video. You can have uh, portrait mode photos. And, you know, uh, the iPad has a lot of modes, too, uh, in the camera. Well, we're going to talk. <laughs> There's some really cool things we're going to talk about next week, like slow-mo videos and time-lapse videos and regular videos and just all kinds of cool stuff. But here's what I want you to understand. They're separating them out for you by media type, even screen recordings, screenshots, selfies, videos, and you heard even live photos. What's a live photo? Well, a live photo, when you have that setting turned on in the camera is a, a photo that actually has a second or two of motion and audio appended to it. So you have a keyframe that's the, you know, like you snap traditionally and you get, you know, a photo. But you also have a second before and a second after the keyframe, and that is um, video, basically, motion and audio. And so what's cool about that is you can use that as a method of trying to help you identify what was maybe going on in a photo. Great for a voiceover user, right? Because, oh, I don't know what this photo is, but, wow, I can hear it now. And, uh, you know, even if you can see, you think to yourself, well, what were they saying? What was I saying? Everybody's laughing in this picture. What was I saying? Well, now you know. You can play it, and we'll show you how to do that. All right, so let's keep going now to our next uh, collapsible section, which is our shared albums. All shared albums. Button. Kids. Button. Family. Button. Summer 2019 trip. Button. TTJ button, all monument button, ounces three button, National Aviation Hall of Fame enshrinement dinner button, friends and family shared button, Ozpix button, OZ button, friends and family button, TV shows button, movies button, new shared album button. And there's a button to create Swipe up or down to a new shared album. If you want to share an album with people, you know, and when you join family sharing or set up family sharing, you automatically get a family album. But we also created one that says kids, and that's one that we share with our extended family, too. And there are others that are different projects I've been a part of and other things, uh, or, you know, what have you. But basically, um, you can create a new shared album as well. And then you can title it and you can choose, you know, with whom you want to share it. Now, let's swipe to the right. My albums button expanded. All right, and these are my albums. Tap to collapse. Now we're Swipe in up or down. my albums. All albums. Button. TTJ. Button. Doc picks. August 19th. September Test 1. September 6th. There's lots and lots of albums. Again, there's a place at the bottom of this that you can create your own new album. And that's certainly doable. March 27th. If you want to do gems, that, button, let's try to... Gems. July 11th. August, August, August 16th. Book. Can I book, get that? Book. 
July to iPhone roll in. Of course I can get December that. December to August. How long is it going to take? This. Is there Tesla, a lot of albums? Newham, August 20, August, 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 clip, friends and f speaking, August to set, sketch, video say, logo maker, sketches, oh. lo iMovie captures, pixel meter photo. Some button. of these were not even created by swipe up or down. me, they were created by apps. New album, button. There it is, new album. Swipe up or down to select a custom action. So we can create a new album, even a, a shared one or a non-shared one. And uh, that's how you do that. You you then give it a title, and of course you can add photos to it, videos to it. Again, we'll show you how to do that. Vertical scroll bar, five pages, one hundred percent, at one hundred. Okay. New album. So I for August third, sixteen. What I March really 30th, need to do, or... I think, what would be easiest for everyone involved now, hide is if I hide photo. the sidebar. Hide sidebar. Show sidebar. And we'll get it again photo. when we okay. want it. Date range. Four finger single tap near the bottom of the screen. On the right, you have date range. Date range. Adjustable. I can swipe up and down to adjust. Days. Months. Years. Year. Months. Days. All photos. All photos. That's where I want to be. So we can view all photos. We can view every photo taken uh, in the past day or, you know, um, every day of the past week, every, you know, whatever. So we are viewing all photos and I'm going to swipe to the left because that's where my most recent photo is going to be. Make sure your vertical scroll bar is at 100% if you find it, but just swipe to the left. Date more button. There's no more button. Select button. There's a select button that allows us to multi-select. Now here we go. Aspect button. One more. Show sidebar button. There's that thing. Vertical scroll bar. 110%, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90%, 10, 20, Okay, so we got it all the way down to 90%, 100%. Uh, I went to, to, there we go. Okay, that's probably good enough now. Vertical And I can also three finger swipe up. August page 157 of 173. Okay, we're almost there, so let's keep going a little more. It wasn't quite getting to 100 that way. This is just a very, very long list. So we're now there. 173, live photo. Lip, 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 and I should lip, be. Lip, yep. Lip, here we go. Okay, we're good. Land, so range, here's the thing, guys. Date range. More button. Select button. Aspect button. Show side. Vertical scroll bar. 173 pages. 100 percent. Video. March 29th. More content available. White text on a gray and blue background. Visit us at www.titech.net. That is the tech. That is a video. It's actually one of our class videos that I saved to photos so I could upload it to YouTube. Uh, we should delete that because that's probably taking up a lot of space, but let's go to the left. F okay, landscape. let's... Uh, Live photo, March 1st. More content available. A black and white dog lying on a bed. It actually tells us, it describes these photos. Isn't that so cool, guys? A black and white dog lying on a bed. It said it's a live photo, so there's a lot we can work with here. Let's double tap on this to display at full screen. March 1st, 9.39 p.m. Heading. Okay, swipe to the left. Back button. There's your back button. Back button. Swipe to the right. March 1st, 9.39 p.m. Heading. Share button. Right away, we can share that photo. Favorite. Switch button. Off. We can favorite. Marks this photo as a favorite photo. Mm -hmm. Double tap to toggle setting. Okay. Detected item info. Button. Detected item info. What is that, my friends? Well, it said there was a dog. So what happens if we do this? Double tap. Selected. Detected item info. Now, we'll keep swiping. Favored. So delete button. You can delete it. Edit button. You can edit it. We'll look at some of that. But where's our detected item info? We're going to have to keep swiping for that. Live. Live photo. Okay. There's the live photo. Info. Heading. Here's the info part. Close button. And we can close it. Add a caption. Text field. And we're going to get back to that. Look up. Dog button. There it says look up dog. Creation date. To look up. Dog button. Let's do it. Look up. Results. Heading. No content found. No content. Okay, that one didn't find results. any content on no just con the dog. The, usually, I, if I get something specific enough, it will give you additional results. information. So I'm going to have to try that in another photo. Let's just keep Share. going for now, okay? We're going to deselect that and try that again in another photo because it does work. Delete button. There's delete. Edit button. Edit. Live photo. March 1st. Now what we have... Actions available. Show details. Explore image. Activate default. Okay. So that's your actions when you Edit when you button. when you hear this. Live photo, March first. Swipe up or down to select a custom action, then double tap to activate. More content available. A black and white dog lying on a bed. And see. Show details. Explore image. Activate default. Okay. Live. Live photo. 
There's where we want to double tap and hold, and let's listen. Oh, guys, it, 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 ha, 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 I did it again. I did it again, my friends. I did it again. <laughs> oh, yes, praise God. I did it again. Okay. You know what I did, don't you? I, I had my AirPods in, and of course, it switched because I'm playing audio, so why wouldn't it? Okay. I really need to disable that, but I say that every time I do this. All right. March 1st. Let's try it again. Share. Favorite. Took the AirPods out. Detect it up. Delete. But edit. Live photo. Live. Live photo. And we will double tap and hold. Text detected. Photos. Back. Oh, you couldn't probably hear it because voiceover was talking. Uh, I don't know if I can make that not happen. Detect delete. Uh, let's let's try it again, guys. I don't know if there's anything I can do to stop that. It was really quiet. I don't know if you can even hear it. It was really quiet. It was just like some outdoorsy sound. But I double tapped and held on the first where it said live photo instead of the second one this time. And that seemed to make it not not have voiceover speak. But uh, again, it was pretty soft. But it was like an outdoors kind of sound. And basically, that's how you play the live photo portion. So depending on what it is, it's going to be meaningful or maybe not. Uh, let's keep swiping. Toolbar. Live. Live photo. Toolbar. Photo chooser. Photo 6,172 of 6,180. Adjustable. All right. So you can see that I have a ton of photos here. And that's another way to go through them in full screen. Now let's go to the right. Photo chooser. Nothing. So we want to go back to the left and let's try edit. Edit button. Okay. Cancel button. There's a cancel button if you don't want to make any edits, but cancel go button. to the right. Adjust heading. Red hot button. Markup button. Plugins button. Enter full screen button. Done. Dimmed button. It's dimmed because we didn't make any changes. Enhancements. Auto. Off. Adjustable. All right, let me explain. There was a red eye button. That's a very popular adjustment to make in photos, right? To remove red eye and so forth. And you had some other ones. These here are... The enhancements. Auto. Off. Adjustable. If I swipe Light, up and down... Exposure. Brilliance. Zero percent. Highlights, 0%. Shadows, 0. Contrast, 0. Brightness, 0. Black point, color, vibrance, z warmth, 0. And if I want... Intensity slider for warmth, 0%. See, if I... Oops. 0%. If I want to change any of those that I select by swiping up and down, then I swipe to the right to the next element, and it's another slider that lets me change the intensity of whatever I've previously selected, so... Enhance, vibrance, saturate, light, color, saturation... 0%. If I swipe right. Intensity slider for saturation. 0 percent 1 2 3%. You see? One, zero, minus 1%. We can even go negative. 0 1%. Right, back to 0%. And intensity okay. slider. 0 per Live photo. Button. And here's. Selected. Adjust. Button. Filters. Button. Crop. Button. Crop. Some button. other things that we can do. So adjust is selected. Selected. Adjust. But we could photo, change it to button. filter. S filters. Button. And look at these options now. Selected. Filters. Button. Adjust. Live photo. Button. Selected. Filter chooser. Original. Adjustable. And it's a slider. Done. Selected. Filter choose. Vivid. Vivid warm. 100%. Vivid cool. 100. Dramatic. Dramatic warm. Dramatic cool. Mono. Silver tone. More. 100 more. Okay. Lots of choices there. Selected. Selected. Vivid. Right. Selected. Original. Live photo. Button. Okay. Just select crop. Crop. Button. We could crop, which is going to allow us to use handles. It's a kind of a visual thing. Voiceover will try to guide you through it. Crop. But. Bottom left crop handle. Double tap and hold to adjust cropping area. Bottom crop handle. Bottom right crop hand. Bottom See, right you can do it. selected. Crop filter adjust. Live photo then, right crop handle. Right. Left crop hand. Top right crop handle. You can do it now. Li li filters, let's go to button. live photo. Adjust and see. F selected bottom left crop. Actually, live photo button. Because this is a live photo, you can S even choose additional options. Done button selected. Live photo button adjust button filters crop media scrubber duration three seconds keyframe one seconds. Start, zero seconds, adjustable, keyframe, one seconds, adjustable. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value, and three seconds, and so. crop, filters, adjust, selected, live, done, enter full, plugins, but markup, but So you could, you could change those kinds of things. Um, 
that live photo that lets you pick the key frame, choose the, the length of the, of the live photo video. And over here you saw um, some things. Plugins button. What's plugins? Let's show you that. Options. Heading. Pixel meter button. More button. More pixel meter button. All right, that's a third party photo editor that I have installed. I happen to have that on this iPad and it would allow me to continue editing in that app in case maybe it has some adi some additional options or things I want to use. Uh, options. We'll scroll Heading. out of that. Lit photo. Okay. Image. Now the image. next thing I'd like to do Cancel. is I'd like to volume unmuted. But lit photo on button. Red eye button. Markup button. Plugins button. Enter full screen. All right. So the next thing I'd like to do is show you markup because this is how you can provide labels for all of your photos that voiceover will like and will read back to you and they'll sync. And if you are able to get some sighted assistance from family and friends or just use the image descriptions and the live photo portions and stuff to figure out what a photo is, you can go over here to markup. Plugins, markup, button, markup, alert, markup turns off live photo. Live photo will be turned off and edits will apply to the still photo only. Cancel. All button. right, we won't mark this one up then. Let's cancel. We'll mark up another one. Uh, Media scrubber. Let's do this. Let's show you. Filter, adjust, select, done, enter, plugins, if we cellular, like, two. If we like our edits, we hit done. If we don't, Wednesday, three, we hit cancel. And three keyframes. And keep one. in mind. Live photo, cancel, button. When you do edits of a photo, they apply, it, it, it syncs across your devices if you're using iCloud. So when you make a change to the photo on one device, it changes it on all the devices. Alert, are you sure you want to discard all changes? Discard changes, discard changes, discard change. Back okay. Button. Let's, instead of selecting edit this time... March 1st, share, favored, detected item info, button, delete, edit, button, live photo, March 1st, live, live photo, toolbar, photo chooser, photo, okay. live, edit, This time delete, I want to... Button, detected item, favored, share, uh, March 1st, back do. button, back I want to go to the right detected here. Item, delete, but edit, but live photo, show details. And I want to hit show details. Let's see what we see when we do that. Live, live photo, toolbar, photo chooser, photo chooser, lens description, li yeah, file cool. name, I adjust, button, creation date, look up, dog, button. All right, so that actually is the, it's still saying dog, and I don't, I wish it had more detail on this one. I hope I can find another one that has it. Add a caption, text field, So info, info is heading. the same thing we had when we selected detected item info. It's actually the same thing, and here you go. Let's look what we have. Live, live photo info, heading. Okay. Close button. You close it. Add a caption, text field. Now. Double tap to edit. This is another way of labeling a photo but this is a visual way your sighted users are going to get to see this as a caption as well so we can go into this uh photo add a caption text field text field is editing add a caption insertion and i can start. type in there what a dog cap to h a t space a space d o g cap m oops exclamation mark is what i cap have to m. do there Come. okay so a exclamation mark dog so what we'll do now is go up to the top Dot live done button hit done done back button okay now we'll go to the right favorite select delete edit live photo live info heading close caption what a dog text field all right and there's another way you can see those captions too even with voiceover i'll show you that in a bit swipe right look up dog button i <laughs> it didn't work the first time i'd be tempted to try it again but let's just keep going creation date tuesday March 1st, 2022 at 9.39 p.m. Adjust button. iCloud status uploaded. File name, LP underscore image, camera description, Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max. File format, HEIF. Live photo, image. Lens description, back FaceTime camera. Resolution, 1 megapixels. Dimensions, 884 times 19 file size. 484 kilobytes. A lot of information. ISO, focal length, exposure bias, aperture, shutter speed, location, toolbar. It would even location, tell you the location if it, it, it could determine it or you if somebody didn't share it with you, you could add location, a location, add location yourself. Button. All right. Now, um, opens the location uh, and maps. Oh, and it says opens the location and maps so we could see that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Oh, no, I'm going to do one other thing. Look up. I'm going to... Caption. Close button. I'm going to close, close that, and I'm going to do one other thing here. 
toolbar. Let live. I'm image. gonna do lip show to explore image. Explore image this time, and this is a voiceover feature now. Image ex image explore photos heading done button image heading to the right. Schnauzer centered. You caption Schnauzer centered. Use the rotor to access objects. Caption heading what a dog. Image description heading a black and white dog lying on a bed. Scenes heading adult Schnauzer. Date heading March first time heading not orientation portrait portrait. Okay, so I could use the rotor. Hat time hat words. Care language, screen recognition containers, vertical padding, words, character, a black and white dog lying on a language, character. I guess there's only image description because there's only one, one object. Caption, padding, I don't know if Schnauzer, screen recognition objects. Yeah, there's only one object. Characters, so, objects. And if it had people in it, that would be in the rotor too. Um, now it says Schnauzer. Image done. I button. wonder if it really is a Schnauzer. We're gonna hit done there, and I'm gonna try and look up photo one more picture, time on this photo. Favorite, detected, delete, detected, because item, why not? Selected, at live info close caption look up look up Can't results believe. results heading Siri knowledge heading ah I found it Schnauzer a Schnauzer plural Schnauzer let translation Schnauzer is a dog breed type that originated in Germany from the 14th to 16th centuries. The term comes from the German word for snout and means colloquially mustache or whiskered snout because of the dog's distinctively bearded snout. Initially, it was called wire hair pincher, while schnauzer was adopted in 1879. Wikipedia Yorkshire Terrier The Yorkshire Terrier is one of the smallest dog breeds of the terrier type, let alone of any dog breed. The breed developed during the 19th century in Yorkshire, England. Ideally, its maximum size is 7 pounds. A popular companion dog, the Yorkshire Terrier has also been part of the development of other breeds, such as the Silky Terrier. Most have a black and tan coat, but they are also known to have a silver gray or a blonde coat. Yorkshire Terriers are playful and energetic dogs. <laughs> That's Wikipedia. for sure. Similar web images. Heading. You got images on Image. the web. Look at this, guys. It's just really cool. Now, I imagine that it, it, what's interesting is there... A dog sitting a on a grassy of, field. A couple of things, and that image was a dog sitting on a grassy field. A couple of things that we want to point out here. Image description, image recognition, all of that stuff is amazing. It is wonderful. Praise God for it. I believe it's a blessing and a gift from God. But I can tell you that, you know, because it's made by humans, it's it's still, you know, a work in progress, as are we all. And it's not perfect, right? And, and one of the things is sometimes it takes a while a few minutes to, you know, at first it just thought it was a dog and I couldn't find a result. I waited a little. We did some more demo. I don't think I'd have had to wait that long, but we did some more demoing and we came back to it and then it had determined it could really look it up. Now, I think it was, it's interesting. It, it's, it's sort of having a little inner um, disagreement with itself, I think, about whether it's a Schnauzer or a Yorkie. I'd say it's a Yorkie because I don't know anyone who has a Schnauzer unless somehow I got a photo of one in my library that I don't remember getting from somebody. But we own a Yorkie, and my parents own a Yorkie, so I suspect that's what it is. If it's what I think it is, a dog lying on a bed, I think it's my parents' Yorkie, who's brand new. She was just born uh, back in, um, uh, I think, December. They got her in February, and so it's probably so small that it's a little bit hard for um, the iPad system to tell what kind of dog it is. But you notice it presented both to us there, so I'm happy with that. Uh, let's let's get out of this with a two finger scrub. Items info back button. So the first thing was image info, which detected item info is one way to get it, or through the rotor, and that's for everybody. Image explorer is for voiceover. March first back button. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go back. Range all photo. Now I want to try to find something that's not a live photo. Live photo. Live up. Live photo. March fourth. More content available. A screenshot of a group of icons on a red background. Well, that's definitely not a live photo. It probably really is a screenshot. Photo, March 10th. More content available. A screenshot of a list of songs. 8, 43, 7, all of D. Edit messages, Lee. And I could Q search. go in there and it would... Kids chat, main and structure chat, Megan. It, it would, could, it would continue. continue. March 14th. Photo, March 21st. More content available. A screenshot of a group of icons and... Okay, so you get the idea that it would it, it would continue to do a, a good job of continuing to try to March twenty eighth narrow down what it says. More content available: a photo containing an adult, maybe Matthew. That's me, 
And it really is. I took a picture of myself. Um, why? Because uh, a photo booth, remember? We did that together. So let's go into this. Vote back button. Monday. Share. Bu favored. Info. Button. Delete. Button. Edit. Photo. Mo toolbar. Photo chooser. Photo. Photo. March 28th. Interesting. Edit. Button. To see what. Delete. Info. Button. Info. Button. Says. Selected. Wouldn't it? Info. Delete. Edit. Info. Close. Add a caption. Text. Creation. Date. Monday. Adjust. Button. iCloud status. Uploaded. File name. IMG. Camera description. Apple iPad. File format. JPEG. Selfie. Image. Lens description. Front camera. 14 millimeters. 2.4. Resolution, 12 megapixels. Dimensions, 3,000. File size, ISO, focal length, exposure bias, aperture. All that same stuff, location, but look at that. Adult, and this one, uh, if photo, I go back and I, I choose Image info, Explorer, edit, let's get out of the info by button, closing out, close, but let's do Image Explorer. Edit, see, photo, if it, show the Explore image. see if it has people. Image Explorer, heading, done. Image, heading, Matthew, a person with brown hair, including facial hair, near bottom edge. And use the rotor to access people. Yep, see, people is in the rotor this time. And it couldn't have been a better description. That I mean, that is true. Image description. Heading. A photo containing an adult. Yep. Scenes. Heading. Adult. Okay. Date. Heading. We have scenes. So let's get out of this. Image done. Okay. Image done. Button. All right. This time I... Photos. Back button. This time I... I'm going to mark it up because it's not a live photo. We took it in photo booth. Mund share button favored info but delete edit button edit photo mark up mark up button cancel tool pal cancel button swipe right mark up heading and there are some visual markups done button page one undo dimmed button you can undo your markups redo d selected pen color black zero opacity 100 percent button M mark it up with a pen Marker, color, yellow 65, mm -hmm. pencil, color, dark cyan blue 20, eraser, button, lasso, button, ruler, inactive, button, selected, black, button, blue, green, yellow, red, color picker, button. See, we can get all kinds of colors. Add, button. We can add something. More, button. And more. Tool palette handle, draggable. There's a tool palette handle. Tool pa so let's add, look at button. add. What do we get? Add. Cancel, markup, heading, done, button, page one. Description. A description? Text. Text. Signature. Signature. Magnifier. Magnifier. Square shape. Button. Square shape. Circle shape. B speech bubble shape. Arrow shape. Undo. Dim. All these button. different choices, guys. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember whether it's text or description that we want to do for our voiceover. Undo. I Dim. think it's button. description, Marker. but I don't do it very selected. often because the image description on voiceover is so good Redo. that I don't Dim. typically Selected. need to. But Marker. I'm going to say Yellow. I Dis think... Photos. Photos. I think. Square shape. I think. Text. It's this, description. It's, mm, description. Let's try it. Text field is editing. Add image description. Character mode. Insertion point at start. Yeah, I'd say that's it. Use the rotor so, to access misspelled words. Uh, let's just say, uh, taken, uh, here's me in photo booth. Cap H E R E apostrophe S spam E sp N space cap P A O T O space cap B O O T H. Exclamation mark return. And I don't think we need to hit return. Cancel M done button. Hit done. Done. Text detected photo image. Okay. Photo image. So. Cancel. Adjust. Red eye. Mark. Plug. Enter. Done. Button. Hit done again. Text photo. March 28. Why? Because we want to save our edits. Toolbar. Now, photo chooser. Let's back button. Go back. Back date range. Let's All photos. Test. Live photo. Live photo. Photo. March 4th. Photo, March 10th. Which one of these was the dog? More photo, March 4th. By the way. More content available. A screenshot of live, live, up, live photo, March 1st. More content Is this available. The a black and white dog yeah. lying on a bed. I want to use the rotor right here without opening the photo. Explore image. Activate default. Explore activate um, default. I, I, I think if I, I think if I explore image. Explore the image. Image explorer, the image of done, image, schnauzer, caption, heading, what a dog. Yep, that's how we read the captions. Done, okay, button. hit done. Let's find the new one we just... Photos, video, vertical scroll, vid, photo, March 28th. More content available, a photo containing an adult, maybe Matthew. And... Video, fo explore image, act, explore see. image, image explorer, done, image, heading, Matthew, a person with brown hair, 
including facial hair, nip image description, headache, a photo containing an adult. Scenes, hat, adult, date, hat, March, time, one, orientation, portrait. Okay. That people. didn't. Matthew, Gra Matthew. You knows me though. It's got people in here. But I don't. It, I, what I didn't see is my. What I didn't see is my description. So I might have to go back and do text, or I might just open it first. Photos. Date. Right. Live. Photo. Live. Up. Live. Video. Photo. Photo. Vertical. Video. Photo. March twenty eighth. Okay. That's me. More content available. A photo containing an adult. Maybe Matthew. What if we do this? More content. Use the rotor and switch it to more content. What do we have if we swipe up and down? March 28th, date, 1.39 p.m. time. Portrait orientation. Matthew Grayson Valbrecht, people. IMG0014.jpg. March 28th, one. Okay, the caption would be in there. But Video, photo, March I wonder if it's photo, if it actually took. One, share, so favorite, we're gonna info, go in here delete, and go. Edit, photo, toolbar, photo, photo, I'm gonna edit, try delete, text because I think info, maybe I picked the wrong favorite, one, guys. Share, I button, think maybe I picked one, it delete, the wrong info, one. But you know, edit, that's button, what you get when you photo, get a TTJ tutorial. We're upfront and honest with you. We don't try to hide our mistakes usually unless they're too bad photo um, can't adjust then heading. then we go to great lengths to hide them Red up, okay mark up, uh, plugins mark up mark up go back to mark up again because it's got to be one or the mark other done page one undo redo dim selected pen color black zero oh, done mark up head to page one done red cup add button add i'm gonna Can't say mark up done but page one description text text we didn't do that Cancel. Mark up. Head done. But page one. Text box. Helvetica. To undo. No, but redo. See, I don't dim, think that's it. Undo, I don't think that's it. That's putting a text cancel, box on it. I think it's photo, gotta be. In, a photo, intensity slide. At, at plug it's gotta be the adjust, one I said. Cancel, it has to photo, be. It's photo, gotta be. Red eye, so markup, what we'll do is try it again. Let's go to mark up again. Tool marked up. Page undo. Read so mark. Down to the bottom of the screen again. Tool out more. Add button. We're gonna say description. Can't mark done. Tape the tech description. Text field is editing. Add image description. Yeah, Character my image mode. description did not take, my friends. Let's try it again. Here, Capt e -E here I, I am a -A in a space. photo a -O -T -O space. booth. Photo. Cap -A -O -O -T -H. Exclamation mark. Maybe booth. I need to hit return. Return. New line. Nope. New line. I don't. All right. Why did it not take, guys? Let's figure that out. Mark. So Verticals. we have Cancel. a image description. We have an image description. Done. Oh, Text you know why? Undo. Because I think Button. I hit the wrong done. That's weird. There's two dones. If you go to the top of the screen. Cancel. Markup. Done. Button. There. Verticals. Cancel. But image description. Heading. Done. Button. Text field is editing. Here I am in photo booth. Character. Done. Button. Cancel button. Mark up. Hat done. Page one done. Now button, done again. Done. Tech photo. Image and now cancel. Adjust. Done one more up. time. Up. Plug enter done. Button. I bet that's photo. what we didn't do, guys. Here I am in photo. Yep. March 28th. Oh, praise God. Yeah, <laughs> praise the Lord. So, okay. Yep. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Okay. We got to explain that one. Woo. All right. So, yeah, I'm glad that happened, actually, because it gives me an opportunity to make sure you don't do the same thing I just did. I didn't remember that, but as I said, voiceovers descriptions are so good. I have sighted family, praise God, and I, you know, use live photo and all this. I don't do this a ton. I don't find it necessary to label my photos very well. I love photos. I use them a lot, but I don't find it necessary to usually do this. But that's how you make them accessible with voiceover. So here's what happened. There are two done buttons. There's a done button at the top. You don't want that one. You want to swipe to the right inside the... Remember we went to markup? Okay, and there's a done button for markup, so you can stop marking up if you're drawing on the photo or putting a text box. But then remember there's an add button inside of markup, and you choose that, and then you have these choices like description and text and stuff. And we picked description. When you type the description... You're actually able to see both done buttons, the done button for all of the markup or the done button for adding the text description. You want to hit the done button for the, the description, then go back up and hit the done button for the markup, and then one more time hit the done button for the edit. So it was three times, not two. So here to, here to review again, if you want to mark up a photo with text description so that it's readable by voiceover, you open a photo, you go to edit, you swipe over to markup, 
you select it and you go all the way down past the, the writing utensil choices and the color writing tools and the colors and the color picker and then it says add and you hit add and you choose description not text because text actually puts a text box on the photo and you can do that we're going to just do description type in your description make sure you find the edit box and just swipe left and hit done then swipe left and hit done then swipe right and hit done it's several swipes in each of those so now listen to what we have edit button okay photo here i am in photo booth march 28th swipe up or down to select a custom action then double tap to activate more content available a photo containing an adult maybe matthew and the nice thing is and delete in monday back share if favored back button even if we go back, back now and we're ready to photo photo here i am in photo booth photo march 21st see there's one it's more not content marked available up. A screenshot of a group of icons and text. 414 picosecond slash slash LLA 21. Very bullet. Sick photo. I don't know what that text actually is. More content uh, uh, it a is trying to read the text, but it's a, text. it's a screenshot. It's a screenshot. Picosecond slash slash LLA 21. Very bullet. 63 euro. 2N. Okay. US star 4133. Photo. Here I am in photo booth. Here? March 28. See that? More content available. See that? A photo really cool. An adult, really cool. Matthew. I want to go over here. Video. March 29th. Show you how to play a video. More content available. White text on a gray and blue background. Double video tap it, and it may start playing, but swipe right. Yesterday. Share. Button. Favored. Switch. But pause. Button. It's playing, so we got to go to the right to unmute. Otherwise, we might have to hit play, but go to the right. Unmute. Button. And double tap. Unmute. Mute. Button. Info button, delete button, edit button. See, still, that's our video. It's playing our video beautifully. I'm going to delete it, though. Delete button, del alert. This video will be deleted from my cloud photos on all your devices. Yeah, that's what I want, actually. Delete video it's button. A decent delete amount of space, video. probably. All right, now photo, here, we're going to show you how to share a photo. Told, photo, here I am in photo booth. Open March it up. 20, photo, here I am in photo booth. March 20, photo. And the first thing you're going to, by the way, if you are playing a video and you don't seem to have any controls, just double tap the screen. There is a feature that hides the controls after a while, and so the playback controls don't get in the way of you seeing the video. If that happens to you, just double tap the screen anywhere, and it should show the controls. That's a hint, too, in there. Now, photo. I want... To photo, photo. Here I am. Double okay. image explorer. F double tap to dismiss. Oh, I want to get out of the Gun image button. explorer, and I want to photos. Photo. Here I am. Photo. Photo. What am I in here, here guys? Uh, photo. Here I am. Photo. Here I am. Tool. Photo. Okay. Uh, and I did. I had the controls hidden just now, so I had to double tap. Now let's swipe left. Delete. Info. Favorite. Share button. And I want to show you the sharing options. Double tap. Share. One photo selected, adding. Swipe up or down to select a custom action, then double tap to activate. That's so important, where it says one photo selected and it tells you there are actions. If you are sighted, you'll see a little blue options button, but voiceover doesn't see it. Instead, it's a rotor choice. So make sure your focus is right where it is on that one photo selected or eight photos selected, however many, and swipe down options or up. And I want to go into this and show you before you share a photo, you want to look at these options. It's like a website. Options. You have those Heading. kinds of choices, too. Go to the right. Done. Button. There's where you hit done. O option. Done. Send as. Heading. Send as. How are we going to send it? Selected. Automatic. Automatic or. Individual photo. iCloud link. So you have two choices, individual photo or iCloud link. Automatic picks the best one depending on the circumstances, such as how many photos you're sending. When sending with messages only, automatic selects the best format based on file size or number of items being shared. There you go. Sending as an iCloud link will share a URL to view or download photos or videos. Really good to know. It sends a URL for people to download it. Right now it's set for automatic, and I imagine for this one single photo, it would share it as a uh, the actual photo itself. Let's go to the right. Include. Heading. Really cool here. Include. Accessibility descriptions. Switch button. On. So, because... Double tap to toggle setting. There's an accessibility description that we added through markup. We can include that in the photo when we send it go to the right all photos data switch button off all photos data Double tap to talk when sharing with airdrop including all photos data will send photos and videos in original quality along with edit history and metadata including location and captions and that only the recipient will be able to view or modify any edits like crops filters and live photo effects okay 
And that only applies when sending through airdrop, which is very, we'll talk about airdrop later, but it's that it's not going to apply anywhere else. When sharing there also sometimes could be a choice here that says location and you can select it or deselect it. You have to do it on an individual basis for each photo. There's no location in this photo, presumably because photo booth does not have location access. Camera does. So if I took a picture with the, the regular camera app, I would have location as a choice. All right. When you're finished with this screen. Options. Done. Button. Hit done. You're back to the share sheet. One photo select. Aren't share sheets wonderful because they give us so many ways to share, like Kylie Vol here, Matthew's iPad, all three, airdrop, button. names of the different Kylie Volbrecht messages. sharing suggestions, Lexi, Jessica Volbrecht, Rick Hall, Alice and Steve, if I keep Diane swiping Hart, to the right, Jessalyn we're going to eventually, Jeffrey Cal, Fred, Catherine, okay, we're going to almost Baca, get to where Catherine we Volbrecht see the other choices, messages, Jessica, airdrop, button, airdrop, again, that's what we talked about before, messages, mail, zoom, notes, Art Studio Pro, Reminders, Books, but Procreate, Convo, but I've got some really cool graphics apps here. Art Studio Pro, Procreate, Convo. Facebook, Button, Photo, Button. That's Affinity Photo, another really powerful photo editor. More, Button. And more, but go to the right now. Here's the options below. Copy Photo, Button. You copy it. Add to Shared Album, Button. We can, add it, now. we can add it to a shared album if we wish to do so that we can let other people see it very easily. Add to and that's how you share a photo with someone in a shared album. Remember I said you could create your own shared albums and you automatically get one called family if you set up family sharing or join a family share? Well, how do I get that photo into the family album? Well, I go to share and I choose add to family, or rather add to shared album. Excuse me. Add to shared album. Uh, next. Add to album button. That's just adding it to a regular album. So if you want to add it to one of your own albums. Duplicate button. Okay. Hide button. Hide the photo. Slideshow button. Ma we'll make a slideshow in a couple minutes. Airplay button. You can airplay it to an Apple TV. Use as wallpaper button. We can use it as our wallpaper. Copy iCloud link button. We can give an iCloud link to someone to, the, to view the photo. Adjust date and time button. Are we going to adjust the date and time when it was taken? Adjust location Adjust button. the location. Feature of this person less button. I can choose that. Save to files button. Let's save it to files, so I've actually got a file now. Assign to contact button. Assign it to a contact uh, if somebody... You know, in, in, I could do that. Print button. I could print out the photo. Share to Luma Fusion. Button. And I've got some more apps. And that Edit is action. my... Search with... Share to Luma Fusion. Search with Google Lens button. Oh, we can search it with Google Lens. Edit All right, action. so that's Edit going action. to be it in the share sheet. And I can choose any one of these by tapping on it if I have um, no voiceover on or double tapping it with voiceover. We can tap off of it or scrub to get out of it. All right, the next thing I'd like to do, my friends, is I'd like to make a little slideshow very, very quickly. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a really cool slideshow. Now, this is assuming you at least have some idea of what photos you want to include in it. We're going to go to select, clear at the bottom. Monday, share button. Oh, I got to get out of this. Back button. Back to yeah, the bottom. Live photo, live video, photo, photo, vertical, show sidebar, aspect, select button. And double tap. More. Dim. Cancel. Button. Now cancel is there at the top left. Show sidebar. Uh, cancel. Or not really button. at the top left, but More. where button. the select... Toolbar. Okay. Share. Well, we're going to do... Select items. Select some items. Delete. Dimmed. Button. Once they're selected, you can delete them. Delete. Dimmed. But select. Share. More. Button. We're going to... Toolbar. See? Share. Dimmed. Share is button. dimmed right now, too, because we don't have anything selected. Let's select some photos. Swipe left. More. Cancel. Show side. Vertical. Scroll. Photo. Here I am in photo booth. March selected. Photo. Select that one. Photo. March 21st. I don't know what this screenshot is, More but let's select it. Sele video. Photo. March 10th. We won't select a More video. Available. A screenshot of a list. Photo. March 4th. Okay. Uh, we could. A we could select photo, a video. March 1st. We could also select a live More photo like this. A black dog lying on a white surface. I don't know if that's the same one, but. So, live photo. March 1st. Nope, it wasn't. More content available. A black and white dog lying on a white surface. So, live photo. And another March one first. here. More content available. A black and white dog lying on a bed. Sleep. Sleep. That's the one we used before. Live photo. March 1st. Let's see what else we've got. More content available. A black and white dog lying on a bed. Live photo. Excuse March 1st. More content available. Right. A black and white That's dog good. lying on a white surface. Selected. We've got a bunch Live. of them selected, and we're going to go down to the very bottom right here. Select. Selected. And we're going to... Toolbar. Seven photos selected. See that? Delete. Seven. Share. Button. We could delete all seven. We could, you know, we're going to share all seven. Share. 
and I'm gonna seven photos selected heading touch down near the bottom notes books photo Facebook more we Copy are looking photos. for slideshow add to add to duplicate hide slideshow button it might start automatically guys if it does I'll pause it so we can talk and, and show you the controls okay live photo live live photo live photo In I double tap to show pause, the controls pause but and I tap pause so you had to double tap Tour. first on the screen to show the controls Play. Now what we have are these. Let's see what we have. Slide. There's done. A, there is a done button. Swipe right. Slideshow. Heading. Okay, that's just your heading. Now AirPlay. We can button. airplay this to an Apple TV or another AirPlay compatible device. Live photo. Okay. Image. It's showing the one it's possible the, adult content. A photo containing an adult. It's it's showing Don't slideshow the one that it options. is on right now, guys. That that's currently selected. Toolbar, play, or that's currently uh, trying to play. Whenever I hit the the play button again, and then to the right, we options. Button. We have options, and if options. I choose that, let's show you what they are. Theme magazine. Okay, button. that's a button. Theme magazine. So we can change the theme, and the theme, theme will, magazine. you know, be different effects, different transitions, background, I suppose, colors. Music magazine. Notice that button. the music by default matches the theme, and um. Repeat. Do we want the Switch slideshow button. to repeat? It's off. off right now. Slideshow speed. How fast? Thirty-eight percent. Okay. Adjustable. We could adjust that. That it's a slider toolbar play and there's play button. so i'm going to just go ahead and change the theme for fun music and you know theme guys mag. if you go into music you can pick from any of the music that they offer in the photos app regardless of whether it matches the theme or not but in addition to that you can also pick your own music from your library of music and then of course you could have no music if you would want to do that so let's pick a theme origami, origami. themes let's see what they are origami dissolve all right. Selected. So magazine. magazine is selected. Push. Push. Ken Burns. Ken Burns. Toolbar. All right, I'm going to go with... Push. I've never done push, I don't think. Let's see what that does. And then Theme. I assume that push. the music has been updated, too. Music. Push. It has. So go to the left. Theme. Push. Actually, go to the right. Repeat. And let's just... Uh, Slideshow speed. I think we can probably just Toolbar. play. Play. Live photo, live photo, live photo. That doesn't photo, sound like it uh, photo, changed the photo, music photo, at all, though. Live photo, live photo, toolbar, pause, op, pause. Oh, did it? Let's, let's maybe. Options. Let's go back to options, options again, because I don't think it changed the music. I, I think Theme, I, I think push. It... Music, push. Let's change the music here. Uh, Theme manually. music. Manually. Theme music. None. None. Or... Origami. Okay. And you notice Theme. that. Music. I can pick. Slideshow options my own music if music. i want to theme but it says None. theme music right now you got those choices and then Ken Burr. after that theme music heading you have music library music library so toolbar i could actually Play. pick anything i want from there but let's magazine oh dissolve i think dissolve is different i think it's theme okay. music repeat Ball slideshows toolbar play but play yeah that's Photo, different definitely. image a screen Let's go into the photos. A group of icons and text. Sunny. H colon six five degrees. L colon three. And that was a very very photo. They're very quick uh, because I didn't have you know I only had seven photos and we had played some of it already. Um, and the Options. slideshow is done. Let's see if we can play it again. Play. Toolbar. Play. Want to hear it again? Let's do it again. Live photo image. A black dog in front of a white background. If I swipe, live photo image a black dog in front of a white background. Live live photo image a black and white dog lying on a bed. Live photo image a dog lying on See, a it's bed. telling me. Swipe up or tap photo image. Okay, so the slideshow is beautiful. All right, when a we're screen. done, we actually go back over here to the left done. and hit done. Now a group of the next play thing. basketball in a court. Ooh. Twenty-five. Ooh, neat I landed photo. on a neat photo, photo there. February seventeenth. A neat one. More content available. A group of children playing basketball in a court. Twenty-five. Yeah, that's cool. E -E and it even has the name, the, the image. number, and the name. <laughs> it reads the number. My son was a was on the basketball team. It reads his number. Reads the the name of the team. That is so cool because it must be the shirt or something. 
and uh, or man, well, you know. Now, guys, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, Photo. We do Fabric. need. We do select selected. Need Lift. to deselect Video. this stuff. So we go all the way to the right. Cancel. Button. And we can just hit cancel. More. Button. Because we're cancel. done with these. Button. Select. Now we're there. We're back to select. More. And button. we've we've completed that uh, that next task. All right. The next one that I'm going to show you is the. Um, we're gonna have to show the sidebar again. Date rep more. Select. Show sidebar. Split view horizontally left. Dimmed aspect. Button. Okay. And and Live photo. on the left, you heard it say that. Speaking button. What I want. Swipe page for singing vids. Button. Page page slow mo button. Page search button. Recents. Is I want to try. Favorites. Places. People. To, I want to go to the people album because Swipe I, I want to show you something in people. Uh, let's go to the right. Places. Button. Oh no, let's tap on the right Swipe hand side. Unknown person. Because you realize that we have a split screen now. Unknown baby Larissa. Select button. Here's our people that we already have named. Larissa button. Draggable. Double tap and hold. Wait for the sound. Then drag to rearrange. Swipe up or down to select a custom action. What are those? Then explore image. Add Larissa to favorites. Activate and, default. Uh, go to the right. Baby Kylie button. Unknown person. Un map just Matthew. Jessica. Baby Carson. Unknown person. Unknown un 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 unknown okay. person. There's some unknown people here, and I'm not sure I could figure out who they are. But if I had sighted assistance, I tap on one of these. Unknown person. Show more button. I can show more. I go to the left. Double tap to play memory button. It's a Child. memory. That would show who it is. Actions button. There's actions. Add name button. I can add a name. See, this is how you name people, guys. You just have somebody cited tell you, oh yeah, that's Auntie Joe. Well, now you just go there and double tap, add name, and type Auntie Joe. People back button. There's back. Add name. So we can add name. Actions. We button. have actions. Let's look at those. Okay. Actions. See where they are? No name. Heading. Close. Share photos. But add this person to favorites. Create photo memory. Button. Review. Confirm photos. Button. We can review and confirm photos that we think may have that same person in it. And that's it. Share photo. Close. In them. Uh, if you want, let's see if we can. Select places. Favorites. Can I view? Photo. Select. Show more. All right. Double tap to play memory. Let's see if we can play the memory. Child. Double. Child. And it will. Memory story chooser. One of six. Photo. Adjustable. And it's playing some music. Close button. Adult. Memory story chooser. You can Three change the story. Close you can pause. do all these close. kinds of things. Pause. You can pause it, change the, 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 the all that. We're going to close it. I close. love that memory. It looks so Selected. cool. Uh, and the music button. was great. So we're going to get out of that album For because the, um, if you go to For You, it has all of your memories in it. Uh, and it makes new ones. Uh, these are automatic. They go great together. Like, for example, on your birthday, it might, you know, let's say you have a your, your child's birthday. On that day, it will pop up with memories of your child through the years. Maybe one day it'll show you all your vacations to the beach. You know, it's really cool. And what I can do, speaking of that, is uh, I can, and that's all under For You, by the way, For You. And again, it picks songs. You can change the song. You can change the mood of the memory. Library. Now, I... Edit. Photos, I just side, want to see and one other thing, guys. Places, favorites, We've shown recents, you, you know, a lot search, of stuff, but I want to show you search, because if I search, I should be able to search for button, button, all button, of photo, my for you people, trips places, to the beach. Recents, so we are going to go utilities, over here button, on the right-hand side photos, once we've selected people, search, places, search, and we'll, we'll tap, tap on the top Double right. Double start photos, people. Places, search field. And says, Double tap, search field, selected. Photos, search. people, places. We're going to search for places. And R I'm going to type -E Rehoboth Beach because I do believe that's going to be very o popular on here. We, I, I, we've always taken a lot of, or I could delete, do Hershey delete, Park. O, o, but I'm going to actually do I, Rehoboth o, Beach first because I think that'll o, be just as good. Oops, I messed up. Okay, so anyway, we have Rehoboth Beach coming up. I'm going to press the return key when I'm finished typing and I can just hit search search it's not doesn't say return but it's where the return is let's see what we get guys search results 95 photos heading okay so i write see all button video a group of people sitting at a table with a board game on it nine photo a child sitting at a table and holding a fork video a child standing on a beach photo a group of people sitting on a sand covered surface Photo, a photo containing a child, a beach and a swimsuit. Photo, a child wearing a pink hat and sitting on a sandy surface. 
Photo, a person in front of a wooden fence under a blue sky. You see this, guys? This is amazing. I mean, we, uh, you know, I'm getting a joy out of this that I can't even describe to you, and I can't see them. <laughs> but I can, I know what some of them are. You know, I remember, or, or, or the videos, I could watch the, it was a video. Oh, video, a child standing on a beach. Vid Let's go and play the video. Fave pause. This is Oh, I'll pause that. Pause. Uh, hopefully, we'll go back there again right. this uh, this summer. Praise God! And you know, when info, I choose info on this one, it will show info, me delete, edit, video, that info heading close add a caption creation date adjust but iCloud status uploaded file name camera description Apple iPhone five. Wow, way back to the iPhone five file format Goodness. video lens disc resolution Let's see if dimension I can find files the frames location, duration please. map with location oh, yeah, there we go. map with nearby photos button location. Rehoboth Beach button opens the location in maps. Adjust button. And you can adjust it. Show in all photos. Show in all photos. Unnamed person. Button. There's an unnamed person in there, but. Toolbar. Photo. That means if you see an unnamed person in your photo. Unnamed person button. You could double tap and you can name them that way too. That's another way to name your your person, your people in your photos. Video. So guys, Edit. we've Delete. shown you Select. just a ton. I mean, really, Share. really a ton button. of stuff. And I want to uh, get out of this search and show you how to do that. Uh, and you need to go up here, cancel the search on the right-hand side, then go back to the left-hand side and select, not search, but library. Place it, people, for you, library. And then finally, uh, hide the sidebar. Selected, library, edit, photos, hide sidebar, show sidebar. And then very finally... We're gonna we're uh, we're gonna be done. Lots and lots. But if you're live, don't go away because there's still lots more. We got interactive time. We got time with the trainers. We got uh, what else do we have? Q and A from the the students from all of you guys. But don't forget if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also TTJ challenge coming to you from TTJ. So what's our challenge? Well, our challenge uh, is going to be very simply this. This is what I want you to do for your TTJ challenge. I want you to spend some time exploring your photos for the rest of this week, guys. On Monday, our app bonanza. <laughs> definitely continues, but you know what? Until that time, I think it's going to be great for you to explore your calendar that we had. Explore that we that we taught excuse me <laughs> that we taught you on monday we already did some lab projects with reminders but what about photos guys take a look at your photos and explore them because i'm telling you guys if you can start using that photos app to your benefit you are going to be amazed as to how much it will, it will sorry news close that it will, you'll be amazed at how much it will change your life to be able to do it. Uh, I don't know how else to say it, guys. It's, it's, it's amazing. I mean, I love it, and I'm sitting here, you know, going through these photos, and I'm getting wrapped up in that because it's so cool. You will love being able to play with photos and actually being able to use them. I, I can't express enough how, how awesome that is. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, uh, that is really going to do it for us for right now if you're on YouTube. But one more time, guys, once again, stay in Zoom if you are in Zoom because we've got lots more coming your way. Q&A, time with the trainers, all the wonderful interactive stuff. God bless you, my friends. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care, everybody. Thank you for being a friend. See ya. If you're joining us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, you're going to love it. And we'll see you next time. Coming back Monday, we got a great book discussion Monday night, too, on uh, Apollo 13 by Jim Lovell and Jeffrey Kluger. If you want to join us, make sure you subscribe to that newsletter, TTJ Tech Plus. Subscribe at groups.io. Send a blank email to it, TTJ Tech Plus. Subscribe at groups.io so you always know what's going on. Thanks so much, everybody. God bless you. If you're in Zoom, stay tuned. Otherwise, see you next time.